In this video, I want to show you how to make AC voltage stabilizer without any microcontroller. This device can convert any high or low AC voltages at the input to stable 220 volt at the output. In some countries in the world, the voltage that come in from the electric grid are not stable. For example, in my country, the mains voltage supposed to be 220 volts. But it sometimes it drops to 188 volts, as you can see here. To solve in this problem, simply we can use in a transformer. In this case, the ratio of the secondary torus number to the primary torus number should be 1.17. That means the 188 volts at the primary side of the transformer multiplied by 1.17. So the voltage at the secondary side will be 220 volts. But the problem here that the mains voltage changing all day long. So using a transformer with constant secondary to primary ratio is not a good idea. Because if the mains voltage suddenly jumps to 220 volt, the secondary side of the transformer will be 257 volt. And this high voltage can damage your electric appliances. In this case, we have to use in variable transformer so-called auto transformer or variac this auto transformer usually using to step down the mains voltage to doing some test but if you connect the mains voltage at the output it can increase in the voltage i removed this plastic knob and replace it with a dc drill motor and fix the motor by using the rail now let's talk about the controlling circuit. This is my circuit. This circuit consists of a 12 volt power supply, window comparator, H bridge motor driver, and some resistor voltage divider as voltage references and voltage sensor. The mains voltage with unstable value connected to the primary of the transformer. The secondary side of the transformer connected to the load here we have three potentiometer, you have to preset them at the beginning. The voltage at this point should be equal to the voltage of the secondary side of the transformer divided by 100. For example, let's say the voltage at the secondary side of the transformer is 220 volt. So the voltage at this point should be 2.2 volt. Then you have to set the next potentiometer until the voltage at this point become equal to 2.25 volts. And finally, set the last potentiometer until the voltage at this point become equal to 2.15 volts. Let's say for example the output voltage at the secondary side of the transformer is equal to 220 volts. So the voltage here is 2.2 volts. In this case, the output of the first up amp is high because the voltage at non-inverting input is higher than the voltage at inverting input. The output of the second up amp also is high because of the same reason. So both NPN transistors switched on and connect the VCC to the motor. In this case, the motor not moving because the voltage difference across it equal to zero volt. That means the output voltage is good and no more correction needed. But if the voltage suddenly drops to 180 volts, for example, the voltage at this point will be 1.8 volt. In this case, the output of the first up amp stay high because the voltage at non-inverting input is more than the voltage at inverting input. But the output of the second up amp will be low because the voltage at inverting input is higher. So the motor that connected to the transformer shaft start to spin in and correct the voltage. If the mains voltage suddenly increased, the motor shaft start to spin in in opposite direction to correct the voltage. I soldered the components on the prototype board. This is the 12 volt power supply to run in the circuit and the motor. I used two voltmeters to read in the voltage at the input and the output. At the beginning, I just run in the circuit without connecting the motor because I want to preset the potentiometers. When the output voltage is high, the green LED running. And when the output voltage is low, the red LED running. 
I used some yellow tapes on the motor shaft to make it easier to see the rotation of the shaft. I used a 40 watt incandescent lamp as a load. And finally, as you can see the circuit working well. The polarity of the motor is very important. You have to make sure that the motor spinning clockwise when the output voltage is high and anti-clockwise when the output voltage is low. As you can see here, the minimum input voltage could be about 50 volt only and the maximum voltage could be about 270 volt. You have to use in a very small capacitor here because by using a big capacitor here, the response time of the circuit increasing. The maximum load in this project depends on your transformer size. For example, the maximum load in this small transformer is 500 Watt, but the big one is 2000 Watt. There is a very important note here. When you want to connect the mains voltage at the output side of the transformer, Make sure that the knob voltage selector is not on the zero volt, because in that case you short out the mains voltage. Just put it at the maximum voltage at the first test. I convert this circuit to PCB. You can order it from PCBWay.com. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.